hey guys welcome back to another vlog i literally haven't vlogged in so long it is i think may 11th and i actually missed an upload this week which i've never done but it's just been finals week and it's been absolutely crazy i actually turned in my last assignment on the 14th but i'm finally done with tests so i don't have to worry about that anymore i figured i vlog since i haven't done it in a while and i know you guys really like when i vlog because those videos have the most views on my channel i'm just gonna vlog a couple days in my life it's probably not gonna be an entire week in my life but i think i have some plans this week if they don't fall through so i want to take you guys along and and just take you guys throughout my week i just got home from the doctor's office i get allergy shots so i just showered and now i'm downstairs it's only around like 8 45 so i'm gonna make some coffee and i think i'm gonna have some boiled eggs i actually follow this girl on youtube and she said that you can make boiled eggs in the air fryer so i'm gonna try it because whenever i make them on the stove they're either not soft enough or i overcook them so i'm gonna try doing that this morning i have some schoolwork to do i need to watch a documentary for my philosophy class and write like a 500 word essay on it so that should be really easy Easy. and then i also have a reflection paper due tomorrow i already got three of my grades back i got all a's which i'm really excited about i think i'm gonna have another 4.0 but i don't want to jinx it let's see but like i said i'm just gonna make some coffee and then i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit <laughs> And there's no one outside i just don't know why but i'm gonna make the eggs now i'm really nervous i hope they come out good i have to leave them in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 250. so let's see how that goes in the meantime i need to put all those dishes away which is seriously the worst chore i cannot stand putting dishes away and i cannot stand washing dishes if you guys come from a hispanic household I'm sure your parents are the same way, but we literally use a dishwasher as a drying rack. We don't really use it to wash the dishes. We hand wash everything and then we just let it dry in there. And it's seriously the worst thing ever. Like I cannot stand it. So I'm just gonna put them on the tray and hope for the best. So 250 for 15 minutes. And let's see how this goes i'm actually really nervous i just took my glasses off because it kind of had like a weird glare but um i didn't upload a video this week on youtube which is so weird for me because i've been consistent since i started my channel and i just like to be consistent with everything in my life not only just youtube obviously but it just felt so weird it was just because i had a crazy finals week and i had a lot of studying to do i had three finals in one day so i just could not be bothered so i'm back on track now i'm gonna probably upload this next monday i do have some plans but they're not definite yet so i don't know we'll see but i'm really excited because summer's here which means that i can probably upload more than just once a week which i used to do i used to upload three times a week and then i cut it down to twice a week and now i'm at once a week so hopefully in the summer i can get it back up to twice a week i don't know it's really fun i love filming videos but it really is time consuming but anyway that's it for my little rant for now i'm just waiting for my eggs to be finished and like i said i'm gonna put these issues away actually gonna call the hair salon because now that i'm fully vaccinated and both of my parents are also i'm finally gonna get a haircut which i desperately need if you guys cannot tell you guys probably can't even see because i'm wearing a black shirt but my hair is almost at my butt and my hair hasn't been in the song since probably elementary school and i'm literally almost done with college i just like to keep it short especially in the summertime because it is just so hard to manage and it just gets so hot and i hate washing it because it's so long so i'm probably gonna cut like seven inches which i'm really excited about because i just hate having a lot of hair it's just such a hassle and it just gets frizzy and it's just really annoying so i'm gonna call and see if i can make an appointment for this week and hopefully if i can get one i can take you guys along with me which will be really exciting it's finished i peeled them and i put everything with the bagel and you guys they actually turned out pretty good i think i left them in too long though and i clearly cannot peel eggs because this one is like completely ripped open on the other side but if you like soft boiled eggs i probably would put them in for maybe like 10 minutes rather than 15 because i did cook the yolk all the way through so if you guys have a hard time making them on the stove i would do it in the air fryer because it literally just makes it so much easier i don't even have to do anything all i have to do is peel them and they turned out pretty good it's around 
done 9 30 i just finished eating the eggs actually tasted pretty good i will definitely be doing that again i'll probably put them in for only like 10 minutes next time so i can have avocado toast with them but i'm gonna go upstairs and watch my philosophy documentary it's around like 50 minutes so not too long but i'm also not looking forward to it i know it's gonna be really boring and then i have to write my 500 word response to the question that he gave us and then that'll be all the schoolwork i do for today i have another people do tomorrow so i might do it later on i'm not sure we'll see how the day goes so yeah i'm gonna go upstairs and do that hey guys it's a lot later now it's literally around four o'clock i haven't picked up the camera since this morning because i was doing my paper all day the documentary was like an hour and then i fell asleep while i was watching it because it was really boring so then I had to rewatch it and I had to do research while I was also writing my paper. So it took me a while, but I'm done. It's submitted. I'm really excited. I'm finally done with philosophy after taking it for literally like almost two and a half years. So annoying. But I think I'm going to go to Starbucks. They have a new drink. It's like a strawberry funnel cake frap. And that sounds amazing. I'm not sure if I'm going to go today or in the morning, but I'm definitely going to go this week because I need to try it. Guys, it is the next day. I never vlogged again yesterday because I honestly just stayed in bed and watched Pretty Little Liars. I restarted it again and I've been binging for like the past two weeks but I'm just sitting at my desk I was doing some last minute things for school I made a smoothie this morning it has banana mango pineapple and spinach and it is so good it's like one of my favorite smoothies especially for the summertime it's just super refreshing but I have a couple things on my to-do list today I need to call the financial aid office for my school so exciting I hate calling my school for anything that has to do with tuition it just gives me so much anxiety and then I think I'm going to do my discussion board post that I have to do on Friday for philosophy. They shouldn't take me too long, but I do want to say that like for the end of the day because it's going to be really nice out today. And I kind of just want to do things that I enjoy doing that I haven't been able to do because of finals. So I really want to do a makeup look for Instagram. I want to finish reading this book that I started like two months ago that I haven't gotten around to finishing yet. It's by Colleen Hoover. It's called It Ends With Us. I actually showed it to you guys in a video. But yeah, I never finished it and I really want to. And then I also need to finalize the paint for my room. If you guys don't know, I'm repainting it finally. I've had this color on my wall since I was like 10 years old. And I really need to change it. So my dad is going to paint my room over the summer, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to do like a whole room transformation video. So I need to finalize the paint samples for that. The lighting in my room is absolutely horrific. That's why I cannot wait to paint my walls. Because I feel like it's going to make such a difference like when the sunlight comes in. Because right now, since my walls are pretty dark, it kind of just like... Like, makes it really dim and gloomy in here i can't stand it but i'm just on instagram right now because i'm looking for makeup inspo and i forgot that i saved this reel that nazanin kavari did she's like a pink makeup look and i'm obsessed with it so i think i'm gonna recreate this today this is the look i think it's just absolutely beautiful and i think it's a perfect look for spring and it looks pretty easy so i'm gonna recreate this today and then i'll hop back on here when i'm finished you guys can see the final look hey guys it's a lot later now i just finished doing my makeup honestly i'm not really much of a fan i feel like i could have done a way better job i feel like the pink i chose is too like neon i don't know my foundation does not match my neck it is way too dark and i believe it's expired so i really need to throw it out but i'm trying to take a picture and it's just not working out i feel like i look really bad in all of them and it sucks like when you do your makeup and then you don't like how any of the photos are coming out so i'm gonna try and get a good picture if not i'm gonna try going outside because it's really sunny and i feel like it'll look good with the highlight so i don't know we'll see after i'm done taking a picture i'm taking this makeup off because i hate how it feels on my skin i haven't worn a full face of makeup in so long and it just feels like really uncomfortable and i think i'm going to starbucks because i didn't go yesterday and i really need to try that frap I've been thinking about it all day. It's like the makeup up close. I'm looking up because I'm looking at my viewfinder, but you guys can see like how big my pores are and you guys can just see like what real skin looks like. I feel like a lot of people that do makeup videos and just like post makeup content really go heavy on like the smoothing filters and all that, but I have so much texture on my skin, but whatever. The eyes came out really pretty. I like the shade of pink. It's really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna go try and take a photo. Going outside because the photos just weren't working in my room i don't know why like the lighting was so weird on my ring light my neighbor just got home and she asked me who am i talking to that is so embarrassing <laughs> it was a fail i got no photos it was like way too bright outside to the point where like you couldn't even see my face so i'm just gonna have to settle for a photo i'm not really happy with because i'm not letting this go to waste like i have to post a picture on instagram but it's okay 
we can edit it make it look cute it's around 104 and i haven't eaten lunch yet so i think i'm gonna eat something i don't know what to make i'm like hungry but not like super hungry because i had this smoothie this morning with boiled eggs and toast which is pretty filling so i don't know actually i didn't have coffee this morning so maybe i should make some coffee so i decided to make coffee because i'm craving like the taste of it i'm not tired at all but i just really want it and i mentioned yesterday that i had the vanilla creamer from oatia and this is the one i was talking about it is just so good i still have some left of the oatmeal cookie one but i really want the vanilla one and i'm gonna put caramel and whipped cream on it because it's actually really good i started doing it after this girl that i follow on tiktok suggested it and i have not gone a day without putting whipped cream because i'm just addicted to it i have no idea why but the lighting is so weird but i guess we're about to do a coffee routine so the first thing i do is take my ghirardelli premium caramel sauce caramel caramel whatever you guys say you guys know what i mean and i just drizzle it like all over my cup i had no idea that you were supposed to refrigerate this until like two weeks ago i've just been having it in my cabinet having it i've just been keeping it in my cabinet but i like put this all over because i love caramel it's so good and then once a cup looks like this i add some ice i didn't like do all this in my coffee little clip yesterday i don't know why i like just remember that i'm the kind of person that likes my iced coffee like super super cold so i put a ton of ice and now i'm using my starbucks medium roast unsweetened iced coffee i like the blonde one better but this is what they have and i put this up to pretty much the top because I like a lot. For the creamer, I'm having the vanilla one that I showed you guys. Look at this. It is so creamy. It's like you don't even need a lot. Like that's the amount that I put. And usually I put a lot of creamer because not that I like my coffee sweet. I just don't really like it black. So I try to make it creamy. Like whether it be like with half and half or just like a creamer. I kind of like it on the lighter side. And now I'm going to take the Ready Whip and put it on top and this just like elevates the coffee experience especially when you want to save money and you don't want to go to starbucks add whipped cream makes you feel like you're having a coffee from outside and then i take the caramel again and i drizzle some on top this is definitely not good for you but it just makes me feel good so i'm gonna do it amazing it is so good you guys need to try this if you do definitely let me know but i will say that this creamer is really hard to find like i literally had to find this in a supermarket in long island and i live in queens long island is far and it was like deep in long island like huntington which is like 50 minutes away from me i couldn't find it anywhere and when i saw this in the supermarket i nearly died i was with my boyfriend i actually bought like three and the rest are upstairs but yeah you guys need to try that creamer it is so good this is the aftermath of my room whenever i do a makeup look this doesn't look messy but this like really gets to me and i desperately need to clean my makeup brushes i might do that in this vlog i haven't cleaned them in like a month which is so bad might be the reason why i'm breaking out actually i'm pretty sure it's the reason i'm breaking out don't do that make sure you clean your brushes at least every two weeks because these are really dirty. I was also able to get a hair appointment, but it's not until the 26th, which is like in two weeks, but I will definitely take you guys along with me. I'm gonna cut it really short, get curtain bangs. It's gonna be a whole new look. I'm so sick of my hair, so I'm so excited. I will definitely take you guys with me that day. Maybe I'll do like a 24 hour like glow up transformation video because I love watching those. I look very different compared to the last clip and you guys saw me, but my parents actually bought home the Starbucks for us. We got a tall strawberry funnel cake frap and honestly, I'm not that big of a fan. I probably wouldn't get it again. It's kind of more on the sweet side, which I expected, but I never get like fruity drinks at Starbucks, so I really didn't know like how it was going to go. It has funnel cake syrup and strawberry puree, I believe. It's really pretty, but it's really not my favorite. My favorite frappuccino is the white chocolate mocha one. If you guys need a new frap to try, that one is the best. It's my favorite. I don't know. I would give it maybe like a 6 out of 10. If you guys want to try like a new fun drink, maybe I would try it, but it's honestly not my favorite. Hey guys, it is the next day. I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because I actually suck. I'm really excited because we are going to Coney Island today which means I'm finally getting out of the house I feel like in all my videos I'm home but now that summer is coming we're definitely going to be going out more and we're actually going to Coney Island because Nathan's hot dog sells their hot dogs for five cents after five o'clock which is crazy because they're usually
usually like four dollars and 25 cents which is a total steal and we haven't been to nathan's in years i can't remember the last time i went to coney island i was probably like 10 years old so really excited i'm happy to finally get out of the house and take you guys along with me it's like 75 degrees outside so it's beautiful weather and i might be going bike riding later with my dad i'm not exactly sure but yeah i'm just gonna take you guys along my day again and then i'll pick up the camera when we leave I just got home i feel like i just filmed a clip in this position but the food was so good we waited online for about 40 minutes i didn't want to take up my camera because there were so many people and i didn't want anyone to look at me so i filmed on my phone but then my phone ended up dying which is why i really didn't vlog that much but we went to nathan's like you guys saw and then we just got in the car and drove back home because we really didn't want to be around that many people i really didn't expect there to be that many people since it was a thursday but it turns out there really was a lot of people there so we just came home right after i was gonna go bike riding with my dad but it turns out he actually has to do something so we might go in the morning but i'm not exactly sure if we're gonna end up doing that because i'm going out with my boyfriend so we have to see what happens i really don't know but it's a beautiful night it's around like 7 30 and it's still light outside so i think i'm just gonna go outside and read my book on my swing now i'm reading that book called it ends with us by colleen hoover it is so good it does involve a lot of domestic violence so if that is a trigger for you i definitely would not read it but of course if you want to it is so good i love her book she is an amazing author yeah i think i'm just gonna do that and then come back in and shower and do my whole skincare routine and all that but before i go i wanted to show you guys i got this new bag from the outlets last week and you guys i fell in love with this bag at kate spade it is so freaking cute i love book bags especially for the summertime i just feel like there's so much more practical and like holding a handbag my boyfriend actually bought it for me for our anniversary but i just love it so much i wanted to show it to you i just love kate spade they're my favorite handbag brand i literally have so many kate spade bags but it came in white black and hot pink i already have a black book bag so i figured i'd get the white but it's so cute so i just wanted to show it to you guys i'm just gonna go outside read my book and call it a night and i'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> I don't really need to be fair To be honest, I've been caught up in the deep hey guys, it is the next day. It's Friday. I look terrible right now. My allergies are so, so bad. The pollen count in New York is like insane. And my under eyes are super dark because my allergies are really bad. My under eyes just get really puffy and dark. And I'm just a mess. I cannot stop sneezing. My throat is like so itchy. But anyways, I'm about to start getting ready. I'm going to Gantry State Park in Astoria. If you guys aren't from New York City, it's this really beautiful park that faces the Manhattan skyline. And they have food there. The ferry leaves there to go to Manhattan. It's just a really nice place. I'm going to spend the day there with my boyfriend. I'm about to start getting ready. It's around 10 o'clock. We're going really early because we want to get like a good spot where there's not a lot of people around us. They actually just lifted the mask mandate in New York. And if you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Me and my boyfriend are fully vaccinated, but we will still be wearing our mask because I'm not taking any chances. So yeah, I'm really excited to go out today. It's going to be 80 degrees, which is the warmest that it's been since spring started. So I'm super excited to just lay in the sun. I'm probably going to put on like a cute outfit so I can get some nice pictures. But yeah, I'll take you guys up with me. And again, I'm so sorry for for this awful lighting it bothers me just as much as i'm sure it bothers you guys hey guys i'm in the car i have my camera down at this angle because there's a really bad glare you can't see me and the sun is in my eyes we're stopping to get starbucks and then we're gonna go hang out at the park for a couple hours probably get food i can't wait to show you guys it is my favorite park in all of new york city because you get to see the view of the manhattan skyline and it's so beautiful it's really hot outside i'm actually sweating i have on this little sweater because we're gonna be by the water and i don't want to be too cold but i'm definitely gonna end up taking it off because it is so hot outside. Put my hair up in a bun, which I never do, but I only did it because my hair is so long and I know if I keep it down, I'm gonna sweat like crazy. So I put it up in this little messy bun, but I'm wearing jeans and a tank top. I probably should have showed you guys my outfit before I left, but I honestly just forgot. If I take some pictures, I'll show you guys here. Hey 
guys it's a lot later now i'm home obviously i showered took care of some things around the house and now i'm about to finish up my discussion board it's my last assignment that i'm submitting for my junior year which i'm so excited about but i'm super tired i have such a bad headache from sneezing all day my allergies were just so bad and i feel like my head is a freaking balloon it just feels so congested because of my allergies it's seriously like the worst feeling ever i'm gonna end off the video right here because i feel like i have a lot of footage when i was editing earlier i already had around like 20 minutes and i don't want it to be super long but anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life i'm really excited to start filming more videos over the summer now that i'm gonna have more time if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me out and grow my channel i'll be hosting a lot of college videos because i am taking two summer courses and obviously just summer videos all those fun things so i really hope you guys would stick around thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video